What is up guys, my name is Chase and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Elgato Game Capture HD. So earlier this year I posted my unboxing video of the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S Plus and after I posted that video I got a lot of comments and questions about how to set up your Elgato Game Capture. So I figured I'd make this video for everybody who asked questions about it. I'm gonna try to make this as quick and painless as possible so I guess let's just jump into it. The things you'll need are obviously your Elgato Game Capture HD 60S Plus. This will also work for the Elgato Elgato Game Capture HD 60S, they're pretty much the same thing. You're also going to need two HDMI cables as well as the included USB-C cable. You're also going to need a computer and I'll leave a link in the description to Elgato's requirements. It says that they require an Intel i5 quad core. Basically, if you have a reasonable computer that was made within the past four or five years, you should pretty much be good to go. Also, your computer has to have a USB 3.0 port. To be honest, setting it up really isn't that difficult. Trust me, I know that you can do it. It's a really simple process. Basically, you're going to start off by hooking up your video game system, you know, whether it's a console or something else. Plug one end of the HDMI cable into your console, and then you take the other end here. I'm going to be using my Nintendo Switch. On one side of the Elgato, you're going to see three ports. It says the word in, and that means it's going to be your input. So you're going to take your HDMI cable and plug it into there. Then you are going to take your second HDMI cable. On the other side of the Elgato, there's another HDMI port. It says out, so that is going to be your output. Plug one end of the HDMI cable into whatever TV or monitor you're going to be using. And then the other end, you're just going to plug it into the Elgato. And then finally, you're going to plug the Elgato into your computer. So take the larger end of the USB cable and plug it into your computer's USB 3.0 port. And then you take the smaller end, which is the USB-C side, and plug it into the Elgato. Now is the moment of truth. We're going to turn on our video game system. And if everything worked correctly, you're going to see your video game system on your TV. If you got that far, I mean, you're pretty much almost done here. Next up, on your computer, you're going to download the Elgato Game Capture software. You can find it on Elgato's website. You go under Capture here, and then Software, and then you click the Download button. Once you install it on your computer, we're going to open it up here. It's Game Capture HD. Under the Device tab here on the right, if it doesn't do it automatically, then you just select it here. There's like a little drop-down menu. Make sure it is on the Game Capture HD 60S or the S Plus. And it should automatically recognize your video game system and it should show up here on the screen. If it doesn't, then you know there are a few troubleshooting things you can do. There's this little icon here on the bottom right with a wrench and a hammer. If you press that, you'll go into your settings. Under input device, you can select a bunch of different devices here from the Xbox 360 to an Apple TV. One important thing I do want to say is if you are using a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 4 Pro, you're going to have to go into your PlayStation settings and uncheck the box that says enable HDCP. After you uncheck that box, it should show up on your Elgato. So once you see your game on the Elgato software, all you have to do is press this big red button and you are recording your gameplay. You can play your game or whatever. Yeah, it's a really simple process and that's one thing that I love about the Elgato Game Capture is just how easy it is to use. Now the cool thing about these new Elgato Game Captures is that you can use it with other software like OBS. So if you do want to use it with OBS, it's actually a really, really simple process. All you have to do is go into OBS, you add a new video capture device, and then under the device drop down menu, you'll see Game Capture HD 60S Plus. All you have to do is select that and you're pretty much good to go. It's seriously that simple. If you have the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S, you're going to have to download a driver from the Elgato website. Even if you just have the S and not the S Plus, it's still really simple. But anyway guys, I mean, that was just my quick little tutorial of how to set up your Elgato Game Capture HD. Hopefully this was helpful and if you still have some problems, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer everyone's questions. If you want to see more of my video game related videos, make sure you check out some of the videos below. But for now, my name is Chase and I will see you guys again soon.
बाय